Three years ago, um, a group of researchers in the Department of Geography at Manchester demonstrated for the first time that UK riverbeds could become very heavily contaminated with microplastics. We also demonstrated that during flood events, those microplastics could be scoured from the riverbeds and flushed downstream. Our latest research has shown that riverbeds can only be contaminated with microplastics to such an extent as if the water companies are discharging raw sewage and untreated wastewater into river systems during low flows and during flows that are basically too sluggish to wash those microplastics downstream. And now the geography of contamination is really interesting. What we find is that the very high levels of microplastic contamination are always found in close proximity to a wastewater treatment plant outfall or to a combined sewer overflow outfall. So the geography of contamination is very clear. It's related very closely to wastewater practice. Now why is this important? Well contamination with microplastics of the riverbed is, is especially worrying because the riverbed and the quality of that habitat underpins the entire riverine ecosystem. Many creatures live or feed or reproduce on the riverbed. Now by releasing raw sewage and wastewater in low river flows and allowing microplastics to accumulate on the channel bottom, this maximises the chance that those microplastics will enter the food chain by secondary or primary ingestion. So the water companies have a critical role to play in limiting the wastewater discharges, particularly untreated wastewater, into low river flows, because this is the essence of the problem. Now these microplastics will ultimately end up in the ocean. Now if we want to tackle the marine microplastic problem, we have to encourage the water companies to restrict the amount of untreated wastewater that they release into river systems. So we're encouraging the water companies to be guided by this science, to protect these habitats and to cease discharging untreated wastewater and sewage into low river flows. And we're also encouraging the Environment Agency to police those discharges much more effectively.